ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. Tony, you must have learned something important to be riding that fast. Uh, me just talk to Chief Soft Arrow. Him say Padre and San Brados and word him want to see you. Him also say Padre try to find you uh, one, maybe two moon. Then it must be urgent. Padre knows we intended stopping at his mission within the next few days. Yet he wants us to come right now. Well, that's true. It must be something important, Kimasabi. We go see him now? Yes, Taro. Let's go. How's it going, Jeff? Howdy, Sheriff. I wish you didn't have to hear them putting up the scaffold. Well, that's all right, Sheriff. Uh, but have you learned anything yet? Just got a telegram from the governor himself. He'll give you a stay of execution if you'll talk. Innocent or guilty, you're protecting someone. Who is it? I've said all I'm going to. Jeff, I'd hoped you'd begin to weaken. I hate to tell you, but you're going to have company right shortly. Not Ruth. Now, I told you I didn't want to see her again. I know you love the gal. You're scared to see her for fear she'll break you down and make you talk. Well, I haven't seen her today. Well, then who's coming? The fellow they call Mr. Smith, the one who always wears a black hat, keeps a fresh flower in the lapel of his coat. He wants to measure you. Oh, him. I'm sorry, Jeff. It's all right, Sheriff, I understand. Well, I'll have to get back to the office. Jeff, if you change your mind, just sing out. The governor's secretary will be standing by for any last-minute word. I can tell you right now, Sheriff, there won't be any word. Welcome, my friends. Hello, Father. I knew you both would come. We came straight to the mission when the Indians gave us your message. You are very kind. Now, here is someone I want you to meet. Ruth, these are the two men I told you about. I've heard so much of you. You will try to save Jeff, if it's not already too late. You see, tomorrow they're going to hang Jeff. What did Jeff do? Nothing. Nothing at all. He's innocent. And I'm responsible for his being in jail. How did that happen? Jeff and I were engaged to be married. I worked for the bank at San Brado. Go ahead. The bank had a large amount of money to ship. Usually the shipments were made by stage, but because there'd been so many holdups, Mr. Quincy decided to send an empty strong box on the stage and, and ship the money secretly on the freight wagon. I see. Mr. Quincy and I were the only ones that knew about the arrangements until I confided in Jeff. I can't keep anything from him. And money stolen? Yes. The outlaws let the stage go by, then held up the freight wagon and killed the driver. And that proves they had inside information. Has any of the stolen cash been recovered? No, my son. And if it is not, many people may lose their lives' savings. The loss, unfortunately, was large enough to force the banks to close its door. That stolen cash must be recovered. If we can recover the money, it's quite possible we'll clear Jeff. What made the sheriff suspect Jeff? When I was questioned, I, I had to admit that I had told Jeff how the money was being shipped. Jeff said he was out riding fence alone at the time of the robbery. He couldn't prove an alibi, so he was arrested. Do you think he could have given this information to someone else? He denied it at the trial. I had to testify against him. And he was convicted. Why are you so sure Jeff innocent? Sometimes, my son, we must believe what our hearts tell us is true for no other reason than it is our heart that speaks. I'd like to know more about Jeff. He and his younger brother, Jim, were orphaned at childhood. Jeff has been both father and mother to his brother ever since. There's nothing Jeff wouldn't do for Jim. He's proved that many times. Ruth, would Jeff protect you if he thought you were involved in the holdup? Yes, but... Or his brother, Jim, if he knew he was guilty? You mean you think Jim is in on the robbery and that Jeff is protecting him? It could add up to that. Jeff wouldn't go to the gallows for any other man. But what can we do? There's so little time left. I'm afraid we can't do much of anything until we make certain that Jim was really in on the holdup. How can we do that? There may be a way, but I'll need your help. I'll do everything I can. Good. 
Now, here's a plan I think will work. You find Jim. You know, Jim, I just can't believe that your brother Jeff is guilty of murder and robbery. He's just not the type. And to think they're gonna hang him tomorrow morning. No, sir, I just can't make myself think that he did it. You have to keep talking about it. There's everybody in town have to keep talking about it. What are you going to do to me? I'm sorry, Jim, I didn't mean to. I guess I'd better get back to the kitchen. Oh, hello, miss. Jim. Oh, Ruth. Won't you sit down? Jim, you were in that holdup. You're letting Jeff hang for something you did. Well, you're loco, Ruth. Why, I... Jeff told you about that gold shipment just as I told it to him. He trusted you, and you betrayed him. Well, you don't really think that, do you, Ruth? Yes, I do, Jim. And I believe the man who told me. Was it... Was it Jeff? I'm not saying who it was. But I'll tell you this. You have to do something to keep Jeff from hanging. What can I do? You can work that out with whomever was in the holdup with you. But if you don't, Jeff can save himself by talking. He wouldn't. Wouldn't tell on you? Is that what you were going to say, Jim? I'm not saying anything more. Well, I am. It's my last word. The sheriff will know about you in the morning if you don't do something to save Jeff. Wait, Ruth, wait! I did just as you said. How did he act? He's scared. I'm sure he's guilty. Look, Kimasabi. He's heading out of town just as I thought he would. And we can tell the sheriff that Jeff's protecting his brother. We're finding out that Jim is one of the holdup men. Won't clear Jeff in the eyes of the law. Both he and his brother could have been mixed up in the holdup. Then we're really not getting anywhere. We'll do our best to clear Jeff. Come on, Tano. We're trailing Jim. Good luck. What are you doing up here? I had to see you, Luke. We gotta do something. What do you mean, we gotta do something? Well, Jeff's girl was just talking to me. She just as much said that Jeff's gonna talk unless we saved him. I thought that noble brother of yours wouldn't ever blab your name. He must have weakened some. Anyway, I don't want him to hang. He's been mighty good to me. You blew your share of the money we got in hiring a lawyer for him. But it didn't save him. So we gotta break him out of jail tonight. You know we can't do that. There's too many deputies hanging around. We'd both get ourselves killed. No, but if we don't get him out before morning, well, he'll talk, and then they'll come and arrest me. Yeah, that's right. Then the only thing to do is to head for New Laredo. Once we're in Mexico, no sheriff in the States can touch us. And if we keep out of trouble on their side of the border, the Rurales will leave us alone. It's as easy as that. Well, I don't care. I'm not going to run away and let my brother hang. I'm going to give myself up. No, you ain't. No time at all, you'd be shooting him up about me. No. No, Luke, you got me all wrong. No. I wouldn't say nothing about you. Honest, I wouldn't. I won't talk. No, Jim, I don't think you will. I don't think you'll talk to anybody. No, no! Shots come from that way, Kimasabi. Come on, Tano. Easy, boy. Take it easy. Have you tried to follow a person who do this? No, this boy's life is more important. Him heart bad? Yes. We'd better get him to a doctor as soon as we can. Water. Water. Let me get canteen and bandages. All right. I'll take it easy. Take it easy. i got to get back to town before it's too late. Yes, Jim. I know. You know my name. We followed you here from the cafe. Jeff always said, owl hoots play a losing game. <coughs> I never would believe him. Save your strength, Jim. We'll get you to a doctor quickly. No, we've got to talk now. Luke Bannon and I stole the money. Jeff didn't know anything about it. And your brother was protecting you. Yes. Got to save Jeff. Was it Banner who shot you? Yes. <coughs> he took my horse. He's heading for New Laredo. I've got to save Jeff. He was the best brother in the world. I was a fool. Tell Jeff. I'm sorry. The 
young fellow dead? Yes, Tonto. But before he died, he cleared his brother of any connection with the robbery. Will you write to town now and tell the sheriff? I'm afraid that won't do any good. Without some concrete evidence or a confession, the sheriff might think it's a plan to save Jeff. Not true, but how we get proof? Jim said the man who shot him was also involved in the holdup. A confession from him will save Jeff. Him right away fast, him plenty far by now. Yes, Tonto, I know. But Jim said he was headed for New Laredo. We'll go there. What do we do with body, Kimisabi? We'll dig a shallow grave here. Later, we can send the authorities back for the body. We don't have time to notify them now. Every minute we delay brings Jeff closer to the gallows for a crime he didn't commit. Jeff. Ruth's outside. She wants to see you. You know, Sheriff, I told you I didn't want to see her again. I don't understand it, but she says a masked man and an Indian are trying to help you. She said they think you're trying to cover up for your brother. Anything to that, Jeff? Leave Jim out of this, Sheriff. Was he in that holdup? Isn't it enough you're going to hang me? Do you have to drag that poor kid into it, too? Jeff, your time's running out fast. If you want to talk, we're still holding a wire open to the governor's house. He'll... All right, all right, I'll talk. I planned the holdup. I shot the driver. I took the money. I tell the governor that. You mean you're confessing? Sure, sure, I get it. Why not? That's what you wanted to hear, isn't it? Who helped you, Jeff? Oh, some fellow from below the border. I don't know his name. He's probably back in Mexico now. I... Why don't you go and leave me alone, Sheriff? Uh, Jeff, what shall I tell Ruth? She's still waiting outside. Tell her it... Tell her it's better this way, that I don't want to see her again. Are you sure that's all you want me to say? Well, tell her goodbye, too. All right. I will. Thanks, Sheriff. Look, Kimasabi. If I'm not mistaken, it's Captain Sancho. Now, that good him, friend. Sancho has been on the Border Patrol for a long time. Few rurales know this territory better than he does. Look like we catch Captain at siesta time. <laughs> yes, Tano. But sometimes... Sancho's seemingly disinterested attitude has caused many outlaws to become careless and lead to their undoing. Perhaps he can help us. Come on. Buenos dias, Captain Sancho. Padre mía. Como esta usted? Como esta? It's good to see you again, amigos. We're sorry to disturb your siesta hour. Well, that's all right. We shall sit and rest. Some other time. Tano and I have some information we'd like to get from you. Information? I will tell you all I can. Did you see someone ride by here on a black horse heading for New Laredo? Si, si, senor. I see him just before I start my siesta. And the way he was riding, he must be there by now. I have seen him many times in Nuevo Laredo. Do you know him? Only that he spent much dinero when he comes into my country. Do you know where I can find this man? I think so. He likes a small cantina at the end of town. Tano, this is better luck than we could have hoped for. This senor who rides the black horse, he do something bad? That's why you look for him? Him plenty bad. Him kill man this morning. See, si, see, si, my friends, that is bad. Tano, I want you to ride to San Brado. Get Sheriff Tate. Senor, do you forget? Your sheriff has no authority to the side of the border. Even if he kill a man in your country, you cannot arrest him in my country. I know that, Captain. And if the man has not broken the law here in Mexico, then there is nothing that can be done. I think something can be done. Sancho, I'm going to count on you and one of my disguises to help me. What do you want? You are the man I'm looking for, I think. You don't mind if Pedro sit down? It wouldn't matter if I did. You work for the rebel army, si senor. Me? No. You are not with the revolutionists? I don't know anything about them. I understand, senor. You want to be sure of me before you speak to me. You are very smart. What do you mean? With all the money you carry for expenses, you have to be very careful. So do I. Now see here, stranger. Soldados, I thought I had gotten rid of them. There they are. They have spotted me. You mean they're after you? Si, senor. They are after both of us. Do not try to resist them. You are both under arrest. So what do you think you're doing? Do not try to fight. They shoot us on the spot. Now look here, whatever your name is. You're making a mistake. I've never seen this critter before. He just came in. Perhaps the senor, he speak the truth. But I look for a man who look like you. Now I find him. Juan, let's take the revolutionist to prison. 
You can't do this. I haven't done anything wrong. And if this one tries to make the escape, shoot him. Now we go. Come. Fine kettle of fish you got me into. Pedro, sorry. Me, of all people, hold up in a Mexican calaboose. Boy, I heard it. What was that? The soldados practicing. What for? Do you not know the revolutionists in Mexico face the firing squads? But I'm an American. I'm not a revolutionist. If you hadn't stopped to talk to me, I wouldn't be here. I'm sorry, senor, I make the big mistake. But if you were the man I thought you were, we would not have to worry about the firing squads. What do you mean by that? The man I was supposed to meet. He have lots of money. He could buy his way out of these prison. How much money was he supposed to have? Pedro not know, senor. Maybe I got some money. Were you not searched? I was searched all right, but they looked in my pockets. A man can carry cash in a money belt beneath his shirt. But let me get it straight. Unless we get out of here, we're going to face a firing squad, is that it? Si, senor. But if you have money, you can buy us out of this prison. We could get safely across the border, I think. Well, it's worth a try. I don't hanker to be shot at sunrise. Silencio. The guard is coming. Get your money by the pronto. I don't know how I ever got into this jam. Guard. Guardia! Guardia! Si, senor. Do you want something? Take a look. Ay, caramba, dinero. The money it is yours, senor. If you open the cell bar. Perhaps, amigo, we should discuss a little more softly. Keys, Pronto! Do not make any noise, senor, or you are finished. Tails, be quiet, senor. No, we didn't even need the money. I have to hand it to you. You did that one slick. See, si. that way there is the door to the back of the prison. Vámonos! together. Come on, senor. We have some hot coffee on the fire. Here. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Amigo, the coffee smells good. <laughs> senor, you know why I come to New Laredo? Yes, to find somebody mixed up in the revolution or something. You're wrong. I look for men who take money that not belong to him. I think you that man. Are you crazy? The man I look for must be punished. I told you once that I never worked with any revolutionists. You have plenty of money with you. You're not going to say anything about the money until you think it gets you out of jail. What are you trying to film today? You have money. You're the right man. You're the one I look for. Now we carry out punishment. Eh? Iron plenty hot soon. You're not going to brand me. You, you've got me all wrong. If you're not revolutionists, where you get money? I, I earned it. If you do not take money for work you're supposed to do for revolution, how you earn it? I, I just earned it. I, I stole it. You stole it, eh? How I know you tell the truth. I'll tell you everything. Then, then, then you will believe me. Maybe, senor. Maybe not. But, Pedro, listen. The money I got was my split in the holdup we pulled. Who is this we you speak of? His name is Jim Austin. He must tell me. If Austin tells the same story, maybe this not man we want. You want me to get his friend? But, but Jim is dead. You just try to waste time. No, wait, please. Jim and I did steal the money, but I killed Jim. 
Why you do that? Well, his brother was convicted for having been in on the robbery. Jim was going to the sheriff to tell him the truth, that it was he and I. That's why I had to kill him. Now you're satisfied you've got the wrong man. No, Banner. We've got the right man. You're doggone right. What kind of a frame-up is this? It's no frame-up, Luke. You're caught and you're going to pay for your crimes. And that money you stole will be returned to the bank. You can't do anything to me. You can't arrest me while I'm on Mexican soil. I know the law. You may know the law, but you're not in Mexico now. I'm taking you in for murder. Not in Mexico? No. You crossed the border about a mile back. You tricked me. Jeff, you sure must have thought a powerful lot of your brother. You know, you came mighty close to hanging. I know, Sheriff, but Jim had always come first with me, and he wasn't bad, not all bad, anyway. That's right, Jeff. He was killed because he couldn't see you take the blame for something he did. Well, Tom and I must be riding on. Ruth, I know you and Jeff will be very happy. Say, masked man, you've got a right smart reward coming from the San Brado Bank. Give it to Ruth and Jeff for their wedding present. Adios. You know, Sheriff, I didn't get a chance to really thank him for all he did. He sure did plenty. Who is he? He's the best friend a person could ever hope to have. He's the Lone Ranger. I won't see over. Hello.